हेलो एंड वेलकम यू ऑल वंस अगेन टू माय चैनल मनोज गोयल इन साइट ऑफ फैसिलिटी मैनेजमेंट हेलो फ्रेंड्स इट्स अ प्रेजेंट टाइम राइट ओके वी हैव एंटर्ड इनटू टू द प्रेजेंट मंथ एज यू ऑल नो एंड आई होप बाय नाउ यू ऑल मस्ट हैव गियर्ड अप टू राइट योर सेल्फ अप्रेजल फॉर्म गाइज दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टूल टू असेस योर परफॉर्मेंस of the last year that what all you have done what all you have achieved and where all you have lagged it so this is very important most of us who are old enough in the system they believe that a present process is an eyewash i don't believe in this because you know as per them everything gets decided prior and you know they think that you know it is a waste but let me tell you one thing it is still a very robust process and a mandatory process to go through it irrespective of your level right it is we who make it bias or it is we who make it interesting okay recently i had run an online poll on social media wherein i had collected some data it's quite alarming and quite interesting too let me share that data with you okay so 20% of people feels that it is the process they passionately fear it they eagerly wait for it okay rest 80% feels it's bias process okay out of 80% 40% people actually do not know what to fill in it they don't know you know uh, what to fill and uh, how to fill okay and remaining at 40% they copy it from their colleagues because they feel that you know the the action plan or maybe the uh, you know the result more or less remains the same for the whole department right isn't it alarming okay uh i am going to share some of the interesting tips with you all today that what and how to fill the self appraisal form uh guys you all have set your goals last year right so to begin the process of telling you what and how to fill the appraisal process i would like to say that uh, although you have filled your goals but next year whenever you will fill up your goals please ensure that whatever goals you fill or set for yourself should be measurable they should be measured enough then only a goal can be justified for right okay the first important tip to fill your self appraisal is always mention rock items and not pebbles now what do i mean with this statement is that you do not worry about mentioning small small transactions small small achievements of yours in the self appraisal form you know it may the the supervisor may not like that you know instead consolidate all those points into one big point and then mention that point upon your discussion once the supervisor will discuss with you you can always elaborate you know that rock item that big point you know uh, into smaller points for example you save cost for the company every action of yours is saving is towards the cost save or maybe the process reengineering or maybe the man hour save xyz right so you say xyz cost for the company do not write all those points let's say you have you have examples you have 30 examples of cost save in a year right so if you mention those 30 examples in the appraisal form it may be bigger or the supervisor will may not read those 30 points right he may discuss one or two points with you but in that place if you actually consolidate all those 30 points and mention one one big point that will make more sense and your supervisor will also like it right so that's why guys i am saying always mention rock items and not pebble items okay now there are some depart- second point now there are some departmental goals you know out of which your individual contribution also plays a very key role okay so try and mention your individual contribution in any departmental goal okay uh, okay for example you have a departmental goal saying that you know this year we will reduce 10% of the operational expenditure of the department as a whole right so there may be 
let's say 10 employees in a department and everybody has got this goal to save 10% of the OPEX cost. So if you write that our department has been able to achieve 9% uh, cost save you know of the <laughs> in the total year versus a goal of 10%. What is your contribution is showing in this? Instead, you say that you know my performance, my contribution was 12% cost save versus 10% of the common goal of the department, right? That will make more sense. Okay, so since you are writing your appraisal, so you should mention your individual contribution in that departmental goal. Okay, third point, always try and convert all your achievements into numbers. Numbers means maybe figures, maybe percentage, maybe hours or months or years, right? Because what happens, you know, numbers leave a very good impression. Actually, it's a number game, right? Uh, like we all say that, you know, a number game is always meant for the sales function, the front end functions, but it is not that. It is also meant for the support functions like V, FM, right? So, okay, let me give an example of this. If you actually say that uh, I have re-engineered 10 processes in the year, right? So this is a holistic statement that you have re-engineered 10 processes in the last year. But what if, if you say every process, I have saved this much cost, this much manpower, this much hours, this much months and this much man days. So putting together, if you say, out of all 10 processes, I could be able to save 30 man days in a year, this much cost for the comp for the department and all those things. So if you actually translate those 10 processes that you've re-engineered in the last year into numbers, <coughs> guys, it will make a very big impact. It may change the paradigm of your supervisor who must have a preconceived notion about you. Mind it. Fourth is, now you have mentioned your achievements, you have mentioned your, you know, all the actions, you know, that you have uh, taken last year against your goals. Now, do not forget to mention your improvement areas and your development areas. Your supervisor will certainly ask you that uh, what all do you need from me, from the company to perform, right? So guys, this is a chance for you to actually open up in front of your supervisor who is assessing you that I need X, Y, Z things. I want to groom myself in certain areas. I want to develop myself in certain areas. I want to get myself trained on such and such training programs. Please tell him else, you know, you may miss the opportunity to actually because, you know, whatever you will say, he will note it down and discuss it with his supervisor in turn. So this is going to be documented with HR also and your appraisal <laughs> book also, right? So do not lose this opportunity, but to open up and speak up that whatever you need, right? Fifth point is along with this, Please also tell him that, you know, what all projects you intend to take next year. Okay. Uh, you may be working on some projects at this year and you may have a plan to take up some new projects next year. Okay. Because, you know, this thing will take you to a next level. Your performance graph may go up like this. If you say this, right, please document this that next year I would like to take so and so project. You may like to give him a brief of those projects that you intend to take <coughs> and certain help that, may, that you may wish to seek, right? Please tell me everything that you know, these are the projects that I intend to take for next year. Sixth point is that 
there may be some uncompleted tasks of yours or projects of yours you know which may have got prolonged this year right like you know you may have started some project let's say in august or september or october and you wish to complete that project in january but you could not complete it on time because of xyz hurdles there may be some circumstances due to which you are unable to close that project finish that project please tell him everything please brief him out that yes these were the circumstances these were the hurdles due to which i could not finish my projects on time but still it is going on and you may wish to seek his help at this juncture that sir please help me out to enable me to finish this project on time okay so guys this completes your complete self appraisal form filling up right please mention your key deliverables very categorically and very clearly right remember you have to make your appraisal discussion interesting and bring it to a level that your immediate supervisor takes interest in listening to you it is very important and force him to change his decision in case as i have told you he has a preconceived notion about you for example if he has already decided <clears throat> that you know uh, you are sitting at 3 he is going to give you 3 because because you are an average worker but post or present discussion he may change his decision but you have to force him to change his decision okay that sir i am eligible for 2 because of whatever we have discussed just now right because you know uh, remember one thing that the questions of your supervisor all the questions will revolve around your measure of success about the result of your actions right uh he may also you know uh would like to assess you in terms of your leadership skills right after your after your discussion with him so you need to tell tell him that you know irrespective of your questions revolve around your challenges or needs but you have to be confident you have to be uh confident and you know you have to show your leadership skills to him while discussing with him that yes now you are eligible for a next level rating not the rating you know that he may have thought for you right ultimately the perception has to be changed uh, with your discussion right guys so that's all for today i hope you uh liked the points you know that i have mentioned about uh, filling up the self appraisal form so would request you to please comment in the comment section how did you like the content uh thank you for watching me listening to me uh, the only deal please subscribe my channel so that you can get new videos directly in your inbox and press the bell icon share my videos comment for sure on my videos right and uh, i would come up with such more videos in your future thank you very much have a nice day